Hey, what's up guys? It is Megan and this is the Wedding Photographer's Lab. Here I show tips, things that we're actually doing in our actual right now current wedding photographer business to uh, book more clients. Okay, so today we're going to pick a topic off the board and we're going to talk about that. So let's talk about, ah, here's, here's one that's a really hot topic for us right now and that is consistent posting. How do you get your work out there? How do you market to people instead of just going up to people and say, buy my stuff? That's a little hard. That's a little bit of a hard sell. You can do that. We call that a right hook. You can do that after you have jabbed. Read, jab, 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 right hook. If you have not, by Gary Vaynerchuk, it's very, very illuminating. All right, so how do you jab other than putting out your work? Well, Yes, putting out your work in a blog like it's been done for many, many years is all well and good, but now things are changing in the social scape and how we consume content. And how we consume content is is different. Now, there's there's no there's nothing wrong with the classics of posting all of your images in a line and hitting publish and SEOing the crap out of it. That used to work really, really well for us. Now it's kind of changing. And as we talk a little bit more about personal branding and how you're going to stand apart from the next guy who's silhouetting their couple at sunset, uh, we talk about personal branding in the context of you putting out something other than your work, right? If you haven't heard about that, you can check out the other videos on how I talk about transparency and stuff and personal brand. So here's the deal. The biggest kind of thing that's been keeping us in the loop of the SEO game and keeping our schedule booked up until 2016 is that we consistently post more than just uh, pictures. Okay, so now that I've moved from shooting and into the social marketing world and blogging and content creation world for our business, um, it's we've seen a really, really crazy kind of thing where we don't have to pay these SEO dudes to do their white hat, black hat SEO shit all the time. Now we're actually creating useful evergreen content that boosts up the site inevitably, invariably, irrecoverably. <laughs> What's the word that boosts up our site organically? And that is that is key. You know, you don't want to get dinged every time Google has some algorithm change, which is something that I was really, really against because we would spend thousands of dollars on companies that'd be like, I'll get you to first page, yeah? And then Google updates their crap and then we're kicked back down. Not really kicked back down, but I mean, you paid all that money, right? So why not invest the time and energy to create content for your site besides your pictures? That means blogs, videos, uh, webinars, other things like that, and post them consistently. Consistently doesn't have to mean every day like I do, okay? Consistently just means that your audience now expects content from you. Content that is good, content that contributes to them, content that helps them do whatever that they need to do. If you're a wedding photographer, perhaps, like what we do, I write about marriage. And because we're going to get married, I write about a lot of relationship things. And because I love talking about our relationship, that works. It works in line with our business and we get to put out content that is not just look at my portfolio. So it gives us another level, another leg to stand on in the world of wedding photographers. That's what you need to do. Go out there, find out what else you can create as far as content. That way you can jab and create a little bit of content for the people that are consuming it and they're not just going, oh, another wedding, another sunset, another silhouette, another reflection, okay? I know that those are great and I'm not docking your work <laughs> because then I would have to be docking Kevin's work. I'm just giving you a perspective so that you can be a little bit more well-rounded in, in the scheme of marketing your shit online, okay? So consistent, all right? So not every month or something like we used to do when Kevin handled everything and we didn't split up the tasks. Now it's like every Tuesday and Thursday at least there's something. There's something always kind of daily going on. Uh, if it's like Instagram or just a Facebook post or a sneak peek, there's something going on. I'm reminding the audience of Kevin Levu photography and keeping them, I'm just reminding them that we're here. Those are the jabs, okay? So go do that with your wedding photography business and come back in the comments and tell me how that went. Uh, I hope that helps and uh, we'll see you next time here on the Wedding Photographer's Lab, helping you guys with your personal brand and your business. We'll see you next time. Peace out.